If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Question Which material type do you use to create a subscription product for a partner agreement in SAP slash Ahaha service SOM? Option 1 Serve. Option 2 Bund. Option 3 Subs. Option 4 SUBP. Question, a provider contract in SAP slash 4 HANA, FICA has no billing plan assigned, what are the possible reasons? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. Option 1 The price condition for the recurring subscription fee is not included in the pricing procedure. Option 2 The price condition for the recurring subscription fee is not maintained. Option 3 The service organization has no pricing procedure assigned to it. Option 4 The contract account has the wrong customer pricing procedure. Question, to which object can you assign parameters and counters? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Charge Plan Option 2 Rate Option 3 Charge Option 4 Charging Plan Question, which characteristics are used to determine the sales tax for general ledger accounting? Option 1 Country Code Assigned to Company Code, Tax Determination ID, Validity Period Option 2 Country Code Assigned to Company Code, Customer Tax Code, Validity Period Option 3 Country Code Assigned to Business Partner, Customer Tax Code, Validity Period Option 4 Country Code Assigned to Business Partner, Tax Determination ID, Validity Period Question, which distribution flows can you validate using the order monitor? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Distribution of one-off charges to SAP SAP S slash 4 HANA. Option 2 Convergent invoicing. Option 3 Distribution of subscription contract data to SAP SAP. Option 4 slash S slash 4 HANA, FI CA and SAP Convergent charging. Option 5 Distribution of subscription order to SAP S slash 4 HANA, FI CA. Question, which data objects are allowance assigned to? Option 1 Subscriber Account Option 2 Charging Item Option 3 Provider Contract Option 4 Subscription Question which plan type do you use to model a rating logic for a service credit that is based on a quantity and a validity period? Option 1 Refill Plan Option 2 Allowance Plan Option 3 Price Plan Charging Plan Question, your project requires that some customers use different clearing rules. This rule prioritizes open receivables for certain products. Which SAP object do you use to define this payment clearing rule? Option 1 Product Option 2 Main Sub Transaction Option 3 General Ledger Account Option 4 Cost Center Question, for which objects can you use order distribution infrastructure to distribute data? Note, there are three correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Partner Agreement Option 2 Master Agreement Option 3 Providers Contract Option 4 Subscription Contract Option 5 Subscription Order Question 
Why would you use an access in SAP convergent charging? Option 1 to determine which charge plan chronologies are allowed for a given provider contract. Option 2 to assign usage to the correct mediation engine CT. Option 3 to contract which objects a user can modify. Option 4 to assign usage to the proper charge within a provider contract. Question, which actions can you perform for a master agreement main item that's in release status? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. Option 1 edit the parties involved. Option 2 assign the cross catalog mapping version. Option 3 edit the billing CYCL. Option 4 assign the authorized partners. Question, which data elements do you need to rate consumption items? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. Option 1 rating date. Option 2 rating package. Option 3 rating group. Option 4 rating units. Question, what happens during the invoicing process in SAP S-4 HANA convergent invoicing? Note, there are three correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Creation of FICA Documents Option 2 Discount Calculation Option 3 Creation of FI Documents Option 4 Preparation of Invoice Print Option 5 Creation of COPA Document Question, which configuration steps must you perform to create a billable item class? Note, there are three correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Run interface components. Option 2 Create test billable items. Option 3 Select interface components. Option 4 Generate interface for a billable item class. Option 5 Activation configuration. Question, after you submit a subscription order, when is the final subscription contract status set? Option 1 after the subscription order distribution is complete. Option 2 when the subscription order distribution starts. Option 3 at the time the subscription order is submitted. Option 4 after the subscription order is rejected. Question, which of the following process trigger one or more steps within the SAP S-4 HAHA service? Some order distribution infrastructure? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Subscription order cancellation. Option 2 Business partner change. Option 3 Master agreement cancellation. Option 4 Subscription contract change. Question, which of the following will be added to a newly created charge plan? Option 1 Macro Option 2 Offer Option 3 Technical ID Option 4 Charge Question, which assignment block do you use to visualize the distribution steps assigned to a contract? Option 1 System Status Option 2 Transaction History Option 3 Fulfillment Status Option 4 Subscription Specific Data Question, which of the following process is triggered by an allowance group definition? Option 1 Activation of allowance with contract activation Option 2 Creation of allowance with subscription contract creation Option 3 Expiration of allowance with contract cancellation
Option 4 Change of Allowance with Contract Change Question, what does a chargeable item class define? Option 1 The link to an assigned service provider. Option 2 The default and user properties of a service. Option 3 The chargeable item dependency. Option 4 The chargeable item sequence. Question, which of the following cases suppresses the creation of billable items in SAP convergent invoicing? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. Option 1 The rating rated an error. Option 2 The quantity is zero. Option 3 The amount is negative. Option 4 The pricing logic ends in a free function. Question, which are the main branches in the decision tree of a charge? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Price Plan Option 2 Charging Plan Option 3 Charge Plan Option 4 Rating Plan Question, which of the following SAP convergent charging objects are only displayed in, but not replicated to, SAP S-4 HANA service, subscription order management, SOM? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Mapping Table Option 2 Charge Plan Option 3 Technical Resource Option 4 Product Question, which process triggers the creation of discount base items? Option 1 Billing of a billable item. Option 2 Creation of an invoicing documents. Option 3 Rating of a consumption item. Option 4 Creation of a charged item. Option 5 None. Question. Which master data objects are replicated from SAP S-4 HANA to SAP Convergent Charging? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Contract Account Option 2 Business Partner Option 3 Contract Person Option 4 Product Question which business partner role is required to trigger the business partner replication from SAP slash 4 HANA top SAP convergent charging? Option 1 Service Recipient Option 2 Sold to Party Option 3 FI Customer Option 4 Contract Partner Question, which indicator must be set in the product to assign a product model? Option 1 Configurable Flag Option 2 Base Category Option 3 Item Category Group Option 4 Service ID Question, which documentation describes the authorization roles of SAP Convergent Charging? Option 1 Application Help Option 2 Product Availability Matrix Option 3 Security Guideline Option 4 Installation Guideline Question, which fields in the billable item attributes are grouped by default? Note, there are three correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Business Partner Option 2 Contract Account Option 3 Billing Subprocess Option 4 Billing Item Type Option 5 Billing Process Question, which configuration objects determine the data entry fields that are available on a business partner? Note, there are two correct answers to this questions. 
Option 1 Business Partner Number Option 2 Business Partner Group Option 3 Business Partner Type Option 4 Business Partner Category Question, which follow-up objects could be created by a solution quotation object? Note, there are three correct answers to this questions. Option 1 Service Contract Option 2 Solution Contract Option 3 Sales Order Option 4 Subscription Contract Option 5 Sales Contract Question, which customizing object must you activate to define individual discount that are calculated during invoice processing? Option 1 Invoice Function Option 2 Invoice Process Option 3 Invoice Category Option 4 Invoice Type Question Given Revenue Management uses the Subledger Accounting Engine to create journal entries from customer contracts, which is not a predefined accounting class. Option 1 Contract Asset Option 2 Contract Price Variance Option 3 Contract Liability Option 4 Contract Revenue Option 5 Contract Expense Question, SAP Revenue Management is part of underscore 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 predefined offering. Option 1 Enterprise Contracts. Option 2 Fusion Accounting Hub. Option 3 Incentive Compensation. Option 4 Financials. Question, your organization is selling a warranty plan to customers that covers appliances for one year. Revenue must be recognized gradually by month until the warranty expires. Which revenue scheduling rule type needs to be defined for the performance satisfaction plan? Option 1 Fixed Schedule Option 2 Variable Schedule Option 3 Daily Revenue Rate, All Periods Option 4 Daily Revenue Rate Partial periods. Option 5 Partial schedule. Question In revenue management, the selling amount and allocated amount may be different. How does revenue management account for this difference? Option 1 It tracks the difference in a discount allocation account at the contract line level. Option 2 It tracks the difference in a write off allocation account at the contract level. Option 3, it tracks the difference in a discount allocation account at the contract level. Option 4, it tracks the difference in a write-off allocation account at the contract line level. Question, which is a term under ASC 606 or IFRS 15? Option 1, transaction price. Option 2, promise detail. Option 3 Initial Performance Event Option 4 Requires Complete Question, a corporation does not have reliable historical standalone selling prices stored in its source systems. What option is available to help the corporation in this scenario? Option 1 Navigate to the Manage Revenue Price Profiles page and enter estimated prices manually in the browser user interface. Option 2 Load estimated prices to table VRM underscore source underscore documents using SQL script. Option 3 Navigate to the Manage Revenue Price Profiles page and download spreadsheet template to enter estimated prices manually. Option 4 Run the Calculate Observed Standalone Selling Prices program to derive prices. Question. Given you can optionally use pricing bands to create standalone selling prices, 
which setting enables you to use pricing bands. Option 1 when a pricing dimension structure is enabled for pricing bands. Option 2 when a source document type is enabled to use pricing bands. Option 3 when a pricing dimension structure instance is enabled for pricing bands. Option 4 when a value set segment label of set band is used. Question, given your organization and hashtag 39s interactions with one of its customers, asterisk a consultant is deployed to assist customer on 10 Sept 2017. Asterisk a sales order is booked on 14 Sept 2017. Asterisk the product is shipped on 15 Sept 2017. Asterisk an invoice is issued on 20 Sept 2017. When do you accrue the contract liability? Option 1 when the consultant is deployed to assist customer on 10 Sep 2017. Option 2 when the product is shipped on 15 Sep 2017. Option 3 when the sales order is booked on 14 Sep 2017. Option 4 when an invoice is issued on 20 Sep 2017. Question. Which is not a required piece of information when importing contract header information from a source file. Option 1 Date of source document. Option 2 Source document type code. Option 3 Record type. Option 4 Source system. Option 5 Source document unique identifier number 1. Question. One way to upload customer contract data from a source system is through file-based data import, FBDI, using a spreadsheet template provided by Revenue Management. What is the name of this spreadsheet template? Option 1 Customer Contract Source Documents Import Option 2 Customer Sales Source Data Import Option 3 Customer Contract Source Data Import Option 4 Customer Sales Data Source Documents Import Question, which three statements about effective periods are true? Option 1 If effective periods are not defined, revenue management uses the general ledger calendar. Option 2 Effective periods are used for standalone selling prices and for creating journal entries. Option 3 Gaps between periods are not allowing. Option 4 You cannot have overlapping periods. Option 5 Effective periods only define the range where standalone selling prices of an item should be effective. Question, given the standalone selling price profile combines all the key setup attributes of pricing into one place, you create all standalone selling prices from the standalone selling price profiles for all items or groups of items. Which three setup attributes are part of a standalone selling price profile? Option 1 Observed Standalone Selling Prices Option 2 Estimated Standalone Selling Prices Option 3 Pricing Dimension Assignment Option 4 SSP Tolerance Usage Option 5 Items Question, before uploading estimated standalone selling prices, SSP, you must populate a spreadsheet with some required data. In addition to the SSP value, price, and currency, which two are required? Option 1 SSP type. Option 2 pricing dimension. Option 3 performance obligation template. Option 4 unit of measure. Option 5 item identifier. Question, in order to have revenue management calculate observed standalone selling prices, four steps must be completed. Which two are not included in the four-step process? Option 1 Close the previous period. 
Option 2 Review the calculated OSSP. Option 3 Categorize standalone sales by performance obligation. Option 4 Approve the OSSP by establishing it. Option 5 Run the Calculate Observed Standalone Selling Prices Program. Question, a corporation uses a primary ledger with a currency of USD. The organization and hashtag 39s data include source document lines with amounts expressed in the euro currency. However, revenue management calculates transaction totals, allocations, and creates accounting in the ledger currency. What needs to be done in revenue management to convert transaction amounts to the USD currency? Option 1 Create source document types specifically for euro documents. Option 2 Populate exchange rates in revenue price profile. Option 3 Populate conversion rate type in system options. Option 4 Create revenue prices in the euro currency. Question, what does the creation of an allocation allow you to determine? Option 1 The ability not to revise previously reported revenue for revision, corrections, and other changes. Option 2 The fair value of each performance obligation. Option 3 The maximum amount of revenue you can recognize soonest, postponing the minimum until later. Option 4 An allocation of the expected consideration over the performance obligations as if you had sold them separately. Question, a pricing dimension segment value combination is one of the factors to determine standalone selling prices. This combination is based on the pricing dimension assignment setup. What does the pricing dimension assignment match the pricing dimension segment combination to? Option 1 Pricing bands. Option 2 A pricing dimension structure. Option 3 The source document types. Option 4 A pricing dimension structure instance. Question, what does a variable consideration require? Option 1 An estimate of the consideration be made at inception only. Option 2 That the consideration be monetary. Option 3 An estimate of the consideration be made at inception, and corrections of the accrual at made at each period and until revenue is recognized. Option 4 A disclosure be made to the shareholders. Question, a corporation uses a primary ledger with a currency of USD. The organization and hashtag 39s data include source document lines with amounts expressed in the euro currency. However, revenue management calculates transaction totals, allocations, and creates accounting in the ledger currency. Which two options are available in revenue management to convert transaction amounts to the USD currency? Option 1 Select conversion rate type in the source document type setup. Option 2 Run the revenue management translation process. Option 3 Enter conversion rate type in system options. Option 4 Provide currency conversion details in the revenue basis data import template. Option 5 Enter exchange rate information in standalone selling price profile. Question, which three tasks can be performed in the revenue management work area? Option 1 Edit contract identification rules. Option 2 Review observed standalone selling prices. Option 3 Manage contracts in pending review status. Option 4 Manage contracts in pending allocation status. Option 5 Review performance satisfaction plans. Question, which setup is required to enable integration between order management and revenue management? Option 1 Configure settings in the order management section of the Manage Integrations for Revenue Management PAG. Option 2 Add order management in the Manage Trading Community Source Systems PAG. 
Option 3 Create custom program to extract sales order and fulfillment data from order management. Option 4 Assign extraction start date for source document type do sales order in the manage system options for revenue management PAG. Option 5 Define a source document type for the order management application and set satisfaction measurement model to quantity. Question, what should eBusiness Suite General Ledger and Oracle Cloud General Ledger do as part of the transition to the new standard strategy under ASC 606 and IFRS 15? Option 1 Create a reporting ledger. Option 2 Create a new primary ledger. Option 3 Create a secondary ledger. Option 4 Using their existing primary ledger. Question, which statement is true regarding the customer contract source data import template? Option 1 It is a predefined Excel FBDI template. Option 2 It is a predefined Java FBDI template. Option 3 It is a predefined HTML FBDI template. Option 4 It is a custom template that you are required to build. Question, given you can optionally use pricing bands to create standalone selling prices, which setting enables you to use pricing bands? Option 1 When a pricing dimension structure is enabled for pricing bands. Option 2 When a source document type is enabled to use pricing bands. Option 3 When a pricing dimension structure instance is enabled for pricing bands. Option 4 When a value set segment label of set band is used. Question, after defining a pricing dimension structure for a customer, you must define a pricing dimension structure instance. Which two attributes on the structure instance are inherited from the structure definition? Option 1 Whether dynamic combination creation allowed is enabled. Option 2 The shape, same number of segments and order. Option 3 The displayed option. Option 4 The value sets. Option 5 The Query Required Option Question, after defining a pricing dimension structure for a customer, you must define a pricing dimension structure instance. Which two attributes on the structure instance are inherited from the structure definition? Option 1 Whether dynamic combination creation allowed is enabled. Option 2 The value sets. Option 3 The query required option. Option 4 The displayed option. Option 5 The shape, same number of segments and order. Question. How many tabs does the customer contract source data import template have? Option 1 4 tabs that store data for the VRM underscore source underscore documents, VRM underscore source underscore doc underscore lines, VRM underscore source underscore doc underscore sub underscore UNES, and VRM underscore perf underscore oblique tables respectively. Option 2 3 tabs that store data for the VRM underscore source underscore documents, VRM underscore source underscore doc underscore lines, and VRM underscore source underscore doc underscore sub underscore lines tables respectively. Option 3 2 tabs that store data for the VRM underscore source underscore documents and VRM underscore source underscore doc underscore lines tables respectively. Option 4 1 tab that stores data for the VRM underscore source underscore documents table. Question, what does a variable consideration require? Option 1 an estimate of the consideration be made at inception only. Option 2 that the consideration be monetary. Option 3 an estimate of the consideration be made at inception, and corrections of the accrual at made at each period and until revenue is recognized. Option 4 A disclosure be made to the shareholders.
question, which is the correct definition of the performance obligation liability on the balance sheet, replacing the deferred revenue liability. Option 1 Your invoiced goods and services less those goods and services that you have not yet delivered. Option 2 Your debt to customers for goods and services you are obliged to deliver to them by either party acting less your right to invoice them for those goods and services once delivered. Option 3 Unearned revenue. Option 4 Your debt to customers for goods and services you are obliged to deliver to them by either party acting. Question, what is the correct match sequence of the descriptions A, B and C against the titles? Option 1 B, C, A. Option 2 A, C, B. Option 3 C, B, A. Option 4 C, A, B. Option 5 B, A, C. Question. Which three attributes are helpful in defining a contract identification rule? Option 1 Product Description Option 2 Quote Number Option 3 Delivery Address Option 4 Bill to Customer Option 5 Ledger Question a corporation does not have historical standalone selling prices stored in revenue management. Which two options are available to help the corporation establish standalone selling prices? Option 1 Load estimated process to table VRM underscore source underscore documents using SQL script. Option 2 Navigate to the Manage Standalone Selling Profiles page and enter estimated prices manually for a given profile in the browser user interface. Option 3 Navigate to the Manage Standalone Selling Profiles page and download spreadsheet template to enter estimated prices manually. Option 4 Run the Calculate Observed Standalone Selling Prices program to derive prices. Option 5 Navigate to the Revenue Management Work Area and enter estimated prices manually for a specific customer contract in the browser user interface. Question, a furniture store is running a promotion for a toaster with the purchase of a sofa or chair set. Data about the free toaster is not captured in any upstream application. How should you handle this scenario in revenue management? Option 1 Ignore the performance obligation for the toaster because it was free of cost to the customer. Option 2 Define an implied performance obligation template to automatically add a performance obligation for the toaster. Option 3 Create the performance obligation for the toaster manually. Option 4 Define an ad hoc rule in the revenue price profile to include the toaster. Question, what does the creation of an allocation allow you to determine? Option 1 The ability not to revise previously reported revenue for revision, corrections, and other changes. Option 2 The fair value of each performance obligation. Option 3 The maximum amount of revenue you can recognize soonest, postponing the minimum until later. Option 4 An allocation of the expected consideration over the performance obligations as if you had sold them separately. Question, given revenue management uses the subledger accounting engine to create journal entries from customer contracts, which is not a predefined accounting class. Option 1 Contract Asset Option 2 Contract Price Variance Option 3 Contract Liability Option 4 Contract Revenue Option 5 Contract Expense Question Given Oracle Revenue Management Cloud has predefined integration with Oracle eBusiness Suite Financials, which two steps are not part of the steps to configure EBS for integration with revenue management? Option 1 Apply appropriate patches to EBS. Option 2 Run the deploy system options process. Option 3 Set the profile option AR, source system value for revenue management. Option 4 Map the EBS chart of accounts to the cloud general ledger. 
Option 5 Set the system options in EBS receivables on the revenue management top. Question, what is the difference between selling amount and allocated amount? Option 1 The selling amount is calculated based on standalone selling prices and is used for the revenue recognition amount. The allocated amount is based on the source document sales lines amounts and is ultimately used to tie back to your source document upload. Option 2 The selling amount is calculated based on the source document sales lines amounts and is used to tie back to your source document upload. The allocated amount is based on standalone selling price and is ultimately used for the revenue recognition amount. Option 3 The selling amount is calculated based on standalone selling prices and is used to tie back to your SSP upload or calculation. The allocated amount is based on the build amount and is ultimately used for the revenue recognition amount. Option 4 The selling amount is calculated based on the source document sales lines amount and is used for the revenue recognition amount. The allocated amount is based on the build amount and is used to tie back to your billing source document upload. Question, the contracts requiring attention user interface has three tabs, pending review, pending allocation, and pending revenue recognition. What would cause a contract to be in the pending review tab? Option 1 The total transaction price is over the user-defined threshold amount. Option 2 The contract is missing standalone selling prices at the promised detail level or at obligation level. Option 3 The contract is missing satisfaction events. Option 4 The contract is missing billing debt. Question, which three statements about effective periods are true? Option 1 If effective periods are not defined, revenue management uses the general ledger calendar. Option 2 Effective periods are used for standalone selling prices and for creating journal entries. Option 3 Gaps between periods are not allowing. Option 4 You cannot have overlapping periods. Option 5 Effective periods only define the range where standalone selling prices of an item should be effective. Question, which three statements about effective periods are true? Option 1 If effective periods are not defined revenue management uses the general ledger calendar. Option 2 Effective periods are used for standalone selling prices and for creating journal entries. Option 3 Gaps between periods are not allowing. Option 4 You cannot have overlapping periods. Option 5 Effective periods only define the range where standalone selling prices of an item should be effective. Question. What does a variable consideration require? Option 1 An estimate of the consideration be made at inception only. Option 2 That the consideration be monetary. Option 3 An estimate of the consideration be made at inception, and corrections of the accrual at made at each period and until revenue is recognized. Option 4 A disclosure be made to the shareholders. Question, which is a term under ASC 606 or IFRS 15? Option 1 Transaction Price Option 2 Promise Detail Option 3 Initial Performance Event Option 4 Requires Compel Question, given it is critical to capture common link values in one or more attributes on the source document lines in order to build effective performance obligation identification rules, how many user extensible fields does revenue management provide to facilitate the capture of this data? Option 160, User Extensible Fields. Option 210, User Extensible Fields. Option 390, User Extensible Fields. Option 450, User Extensible Fields.
question, which, when transferred to a customer, allows you to recognize revenue. Option 1 a shipment. Option 2 a performance obligation. Option 3 an invoice. Option 4 promise detail. Question, your organization is selling a warranty plan to customers that covers appliances for one year. Revenue must be recognized gradually by month until the warranty expires. Which revenue scheduling rule type needs to be defined for the performance satisfaction plan? Option 1 Fixed Schedule Option 2 Variable Schedule Option 3 Daily Revenue Rate, All Periods Option 4 Daily Revenue Rate partial periods option 5 partial schedule question after defining a pricing dimension structure for a customer you must define a pricing dimension structure instance which two attributes on the structure instance are inherited from the structure definition option 1 whether dynamic combination creation allowed is enabled Option 2 The value sets. Option 3 The query required option. Option 4 The displayed option. Option 5 The shape, same number of segments and order. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.